everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about the classic film taxi driver <laughs> Taxi Driver is rated R. It is an hour and 54 minutes along. It came out in 1976. It stars Robert De Niro, Sybil Shepard, and Jodie Foster, and it is directed by the wonderful Martin Scorsese. Also, this is the second movie that Scorsese and De Niro did together. So even though Taxi Driver is a beloved classic that is now over 40 years old, I just watched it this past weekend. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is a new series where I'm reviewing uh, movies that I have just never seen before. So in Taxi Driver, we do follow Travis which is played by Robert De Niro very very young Robert De Niro he is a marine veteran who was honorably discharged um, he did serve in the Vietnam War now he does suffer from PTSD I don't think it was really ever said that he has PTSD but I am really going with he has PTSD that's what I took from it uh, which causes him to have insomnia now because of the insomnia which they do make a point of it um, throughout the beginning of the movie well just throughout the movie um, he does want to find himself a night job he decides on the cabbie life given the name taxi driver at the beginning of the movie I'm not gonna lie kind of threw me out and I wasn't really feeling it at first I do get a lot of the narration going on while he's uh, writing in his journal or his diary whatever you want to call it now Travis besides being just a disturbing character um he does and be having insomnia having ptsd he also suffers from loneliness he also suffers from depression isolation at one point we do get to like a very stalkery version of him towards the end he does become more of the anti-hero his life as a cabbie really didn't help out the situation anymore because he really started he hears like an open sewer you know it's full of filth and scum travis honestly is a very interesting character so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stalking situation now travis ends up fancying betsy which is played by sybil shepherd she was campaigning for somebody who was going to be running for president i don't remember that man's name at this moment anymore uh, but you know she, he would actually park outside of uh the building and like look at her and so he finally one day did decide to go in there and ask her out everything seemed kind of like you know travis decides to take betsy on a date to the movies he didn't lie about that but to go see a uh, porn porn movie yep yep so obviously betsy did not fancy this very much walked out of the date and everything and was like i'm done with you now travis had kind of put her up on this big pedestal and at first was like oh you're different you're not like these other ones but honestly once kind of like that neglect happened between them um he really started like hating her because she was campaigning for uh palantine that's his name um he ended up kind of focusing now on him and now the plot to try to murder him came around and this is just kind of like where everything just kind of started you know like clicking away and in the midst of all that it's kind of where we end up meeting Jodie Foster um character which is um Iris um she is a 12 year old prostitute he really couldn't get what he wanted out of Betsy so now he kind of moves his like obsession a little bit towards Iris and really tries to get her out of this mess out of this prostitution life and it's like this child shouldn't be doing this. Jodie Foster was actually nominated for an Oscar for her performance as Iris as was Robert De Niro. Um, it was also nominated for Best Picture and also Bernard Herrmann for uh, the score which let me just go ahead and I know I'm, I'm like moving over if you're new I wander all over the place. Huge shout out to Bernard Herrmann. I believe this was actually one of his last films that he made before he passed. The score is, I feel like it's really brilliant and like everything that's used throughout the movie goes so perfectly with the film and the score itself honestly in my opinion is like a huge part of the movie. It's like its own other character. You could even say the score and New York City are its own other individual characters. I mean they just play such a huge part overall. Let's go ahead and get back to where I was earlier which I honestly I kind of forgot. I feel like this is Robert De Niro's like best perform or one of his best performances if not the best one that I've seen. Now the special effects for its time were actually considered one of the best. This motherfucker when he got shy he <laughs> It's almost like it didn't even phase them. And I just love that they didn't go like all kind of dramatic. Like let's say like a, a, a Tarantino would have gone with the gushing out. You know, it, it kept it very modest. And also, the very iconic... You talking to me? 
That scene was actually totally improvised by Robert De Niro. Uh, one of the writers actually had said that one of the best lines in the movie wasn't even written by him. But that final scene, you guys, do you guys think that he died or did he survive? I mean, it has been confirmed by both Scorsese and De Niro that in fact, he did survive and that yes society actually deemed him as a hero mind you this is the man who actually went and shot the guy first and killed like three people you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put race in here let's face it if he was a black man or mexican whether it was him saving a life or not of this 12 year old girl you killed three people you're gonna be going to jail or you would have been shot there i mean mind you yes he went through that whole coma stage but let's face it if he was colored he would have woken up in the damn bed like with handcuffs. But this movie very much so is more like a dark noir kind of film. Uh, Scorsese was in the movie. He was like that paranoid husband um, that was in the cab with uh, De Niro pretty early on. Uh, shortly um, after that's when he decided to get a gun. The original actor actually had an accident or something so Scorsese had to like jump in. If you've seen Taxi Driver let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Did you like it? you hate it? Was it just not for you? Um, it's Taxi Driver your favorite Scorsese film or let me know down below what is your favorite uh, for me personally I think The Departed might be my favorite Scorsese film to be honest with you of course before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new and until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>